Hello everyone, welcome back. What you're seeing is my comic book collection. So many of my videos are me going to people's homes and seeing their collections, going to their stores, seeing their collections. Well, you know what? It's time for you guys to see how I'm living. This is my comic book collection and it is stored and protected. I got up this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm going to reorganize my stuff. And then I was like, I need to make a video of this. And I'm glad I did because it was kind of a treat going back through my stuff. I'm going to kind of break down what I've got going here. Um, but the stuff over to your left that you see, that is predominantly my dad's collection, my old man's collection. And then the stuff that you're seeing here um, is, is my stuff. And a lot of it is modern stuff and stuff that I have read and recently collected. I have these full art boxes, and I believe they're BCW. They're beautiful. I got rid of all the old white uh, BCW boxes when I kind of downsized and reorganized everything. And uh, it just makes the, the, the room look so much better. So what this room is, is it's a closet. Um, it's basically cedar lined. So if you don't know, cedar kind of uh, keeps things dry, deprives things of moisture. And this room is, I can, it's completely dark. There's no sunlight. Uh, it's in a basement, you know, cedar line walls, like I said, you know, I'm doing everything I can, barring a flood or the house burning down or somebody in coming in here and robbing your boy Sticky Goose blind. That, I can't prevent any of that. But I'm doing everything I can to try to keep what I've got stored and protected. So transitioning to these full art boxes, I think, was kind of the best thing and just improved the look of things. Um, as you guys can see, I do have some dividers in these short boxes. I need to do a better job labeling them. Um, I did do that uh, for... A couple years but I just kind of gave up on it to be honest the boxes got transitioned so many times and repurposed and then dividers uh, kind of went the way you know it went away and I uh, some of the dividers that I was using like you know I didn't collect that run anymore I end up selling that run so I kind of gave up on dividers but they're super important um, these boxes right here uh, these were some of the uh, first boxes I ever bought this has been a few years ago, I bought these at a comic book uh, store. These boxes are excellent. I do not know the brand. I don't know the name of these boxes, but man, I wish I could find them again. My long boxes here, um, I don't love long boxes, but uh, I have them because uh, for some of my runs, like I just, I have so many issues that I just don't like breaking them up into two short boxes. Some of the boxes are packed a little too tight and then some of them are not packed all the way like this this Hulk box it's just kind of a finicky thing um, but as far as my old man's collection you guys can see all the labels over there I mean I've got that collection organized and labeled this box here before you guys freak out and see those that stuff in the back of that box those are books without covers and they're just tattered and I, I don't have the heart to like throw them away <laughs> so those are just gonna sit in the back of this box and um, these boxes are perfect for magazine size bags and boards and those oversized gold key um, books I just recently figured that out it was like a aha moment um, this is the rest of my Fantastic Four run. Unfortunately, it would not fit all in a long box because my Fantastic Four run is by far the biggest run in my collection. Um, this is my, I got a nice little Teen Titans run. Uh, it's like, it goes from like that Teen Titans volume one um, to the new Teen Titans and then Tales of the Teen Titans. And then I have a, a huge uh, X-Men collection uh, that Chris Claremont, you know, uh, giant size from 94 through 300. It may be more than that. That's kind of one of the best parts of my collection. And also, sorry about my fingernails. I've been out, like, doing some some heavy yard work, man. You know, your, your boy Sticky Goose is out there digging in the dirt. And uh, sorry about my fingernails. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is kind of my dad's collection. Most of this is... Uh, Silver Age 12 cent books and a lot of it is war books like Captain Storm, War Stories, GI Combat, uh, Star Spangled Stories, all that. Um, uh, and then obviously uh, the Nick Fury stuff and his Howling Commandos. If you guys didn't watch that video, you got to check that out. 
This is my graded comic book collection. I'm not going to go too much into that because I've already made a video about that. But this is really cool. These little, um, these little short comics. I don't think those are in color, and I do not know the names of those. The names of those books. They're not valuable books by any means, but they're so cool. These little, these little books. Um, I found those in my dad's collection. Uh, like I said, the graded comics are in BCW uh, Mylar bags, but the rest of my collection are all just uh, BCW uh, bags and boards. You know, to buy Mylar bags for everything, I mean, I'm not the Monopoly man. Uh, I can't afford that. I know a lot of you guys do that, but I, I can't swing that. Um, Again, the war books, you know, I'll make a video about going through these. If, if anybody has any interest in the war books, I can definitely do that. Um, but uh, again, it's not really my forte. This closet, you know, I kind of unfortunately kicked Mother Goose out of this closet. She was using this like as shelving and, you know, it kept it kept her clothes, you know, dry and nice. But, but I had to kick her out because... I had to have somewhere to store my comics, and uh, this was the perfect place. There is actually another closet, and we'll go to that here in a minute. There's plenty of storage in this closet. I, I honestly really downsized uh, what was in here, and uh, um, I'm glad I did. A lot of the stuff, a, a lot of the things I'm selling... Um, and I, I think I showed a lot of I've already shown a lot of that to you guys. And some of the things that I was selling, you know, you guys have seen in my some of my live sales. But a lot of my runs, I mean, my Amazing Spider Man, my Fantastic Four, my Incredible Hulk, my X Men, I'm not selling that stuff. Like those are my my Marvel runs. Those are the that's the stuff I'm collecting. That's long term stuff for me. Um, you know, that Fantastic Four run, man. I've spent some serious time and money. Uh, piece in that run together and I've got a huge run of that um, so like I was saying I got rid of uh, mo like most of the white BCW boxes oh here's my uh, uh, press I, I just get that out when I am pressing things I need need to have like a dedicated place for that um, and here is an example of these boxes I was talking about like look at the thickness of this material this thing is quality it has those plastic handles in there um, for that extra support and then they're wide enough that you can put those magazine bags and boards in there which is incredible these black um, long, short boxes are so much better I got my 9.8 sticker on there CGC what up um, and then this is my other closet this is my cell closet so the other closet was my personal collection everything in here can go um, everything in here uh, you know, if 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 it if we if we if we sold it, I'd, I'd be good. This is something I've never really showed on the channel. These are some miniatures uh, that I've painted. My Urukai from Lord of the Rings. Uh, my Warhammer 40k stuff. Um, I just kind of mess around with that. I, I I really enjoy painting, but I don't do it as much. This is my uh, slabs that I would sell, and then to the right are my Gemini mailers, and then. This is the Star Wars collection that I bought. I'm trying to sell this. And then I, I kind of break down all my old uh, boxes so they just don't take up so much room. And then when I buy collections, I, I keep a lot of the, the old bags and boards just in case I need them. Here's some Omnibus I'm, I'm probably getting rid of. But yeah, this is the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of what it's, where it's sitting in 2023. I'm really down a lot of books. I know it still looks like a ridiculous amount of stuff, and it is, but I'm down a lot. Thank you guys for watching. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.